Welcome back. For those new here, I'm Ray, and I've got something kind of cool to show you. I realize it's been two months since my last lightsaber review. I kind of dropped off the map halfway through my review of all the different Ahsoka lightsabers, but I have not been idle. My original plan was to spend 2023 learning the video production side of things, getting to know the lightsaber community, and then spend 2024 building an online database of every lightsaber in existence. But the more I read the comments, not just on my videos, but on other people's videos, on Facebook, on Discord, I saw the same questions being asked over and over again. Where can I find the cheapest NeoPixel lightsabers? What version of a particular character's lightsaber is the cheapest, or the best, or the fanciest? What's the best place to buy a lightsaber if you're in Europe, or Canada? Or where can I find a checklist of all the legacy lightsabers ever made, or Master Replica's lightsabers? The answers to all these questions are out there. They're just scattered across dozens of websites and thousands of reviews. It really shouldn't be as hard as it is for somebody to shop for lightsabers and make an informed decision. So I put the reviews on pause for a little bit to work on what I'm calling the Saber Finder. The idea is to create an online database of every lightsaber ever made, where you can search by price, by lightsaber features, by manufacturer, and a bunch of other factors to compare all the options and narrow down your choices. Then once you find the lightsaber you're interested in, you can read up on all its features, get the dimensions, see the photos, and get a list of every YouTube review that's ever been done for that lightsaber. So you can really find out if that's the one you want before you hit checkout. Then once you're ready to buy, it'll show you every company that sells that particular lightsaber. So you can decide the best place to get it based on the price, their location, and their reputation. My hope is to have a publicly available version of it ready by mid-January, focusing initially on just the currently available license lines from Disney, Hasbro, and EFX. Then as the months go on, and I get the community contribution tools done. We'll expand to cover all the discontinued lines, like the Ultimate FX and Master Replicas, as well as the wild world of custom lightsabers, from the mass market shops like TXQ and LGT Nexus, to the more specialty shops like KR, Vader's Vault, Bendu Armory, Electrum Saber Crafts, Elegant Weapons, and so many more. Now this might sound like a really big project, and it kind of is, but I have some very strong opinions on how product-based shopping should work. And I'm looking forward to using the lightsaber market to test my theories while giving lightsaber fans the shopping experience they desperately deserve. So if any of this sounds interesting to you, subscribe to the channel, tell all your Jedi friends, and I'll see you in the next one.